Hi, my name is Matt and I am one of the owners. My wife and I, Erin, own Frey and Thor Gallery and Cafe here in Cheddar Camp, Nova Scotia. Uh, we own a small folk art gallery and cafe uh, right off the Cabot Trail close to the park and we uh, feature mostly Nova Scotia artists. That's our main focus. Um, so we, I think, I believe we have over 80 different artists uh, in our folk art gallery and almost exclusively from Nova Scotia. We also run a small cafe uh, that next to the gallery and uh, yeah we get a lot of a lot of locals a lot of tourists a lot of music uh, we're one of the few places that people tend to get excited because we have espresso and good coffee we make coffee strong here so that's always a bonus for for people looking for that when you come to Frey and Thor I always like to call it a, uh, a living art exhibit um, the original owner that we bought this from he pretty much built this whole place over the over 30 years and uh, it's got a I you can really feel the personality, I feel like, uh, that he built into this place. It's just very colorful. It's very got a lot of character. And I think a lot of people just, when they pull in, they really get, a, they just kind of get wow and just think it's like, what what a fun, beautiful place. You know, I think it's a, it definitely has a life of its own and a, and a, a feel and an energy, I feel. We tend to do live music. Uh, it's kind of here and there. We don't always know when it's happening. Uh, it's, it tends to be a mix of locals and and people from away that tend to own vacation homes and whatnot here and come here for the summer. And then, uh, you know, it's kind of anything from from traditional kind of Irish, Scottish uh, music to, uh, you know, folk and bluegrass and traditional fiddle tunes and whatnot. So it's pretty pretty diverse. I feel like it's a very unique to this region and we get a lot, of, a lot of people that are very excited, you know, to see part of like what the music and culture here are, you know? I think a huge part of the draw of coming to Cape Breton is the fact that there is, you know, a, a very kind of traditional and old music scene that's been happening for a long time. And uh, I do think that, you know, a lot of people like that is a reason like why they want to come to Cape Breton is they they search out for those things. Um, and I, from the first time we moved here, I, like the I think the first first time we even went out in Cheddar Camp, uh, we met Bill and Linda for dinner at Le Gabriel and there was their son who is a, a piano player was playing with his uh, another guy who was a fiddle player. So I, I, immediately you get this sense of just this music culture that exists in Cheddar Camp that's very unique to this region. Like I'm, I feel like it's even uh, like I've been to Ireland and whatnot, and I feel like it's very much in that vein of just like just uh, culturally significant and just you know it's got it's a real tradition that's like really in the blood of people around here. I feel on top of uh, owning our small gallery and cafe here in Cape Breton. Um, also a little bit closer to the park down the road there in La Prairie, we, uh, we own a small sandwich shop called Last Chance Sandwich. And uh, we opened it kind of out of necessity of trying to bring, we wanted to do more food options and we couldn't put a kitchen really in the cafe. We were kind of limited on space. So uh, that whole business kind of came out of necessity of trying to bring you know more food and some different food options to Cape Breton and Cheddar Camp. So, so we really, enjoy, it's, it's been a fun feat, you know, trying to bring food to the masses. It's, it's interesting trying to keep up in the summer sometimes, but we've had nothing but really good response and we've been getting good feedback. So we're very, very pleased to show people some different flavors here in, in Nova Scotia and, uh, you know, come on in and check it out. Come visit us, come on out. And we are at 15856 Cabot Trail Road here in Cheddar Camp, Nova Scotia. We are open from typically from the middle of May till the end of October and we'd love to see you so come on out to Cape Breton.